My friends, my friends. What up, though? You know who it is. It's the guy's son, Kevin the Vec. Taurus fit, no bull, just buck. We back in the kitchen, man. That time has finally arrived. I told y'all the caramel pecan apple pie is going down. Finally, we here. Y'all can give me a round of applause for that. I'm going to give myself a round of applause for that. Anyway. <laughs> Yo! I'm feeling good about this, man. Food makes me so happy. I don't know why, man. It just makes me happy, man. Anyway, here we go, y'all. It's finally here. Now, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Slow down. Pause. Stop the presses. I cannot give you every single bit of information right now because this is going to make this video too long, okay? So I'm not going to break down every single ingredient by measurement, okay? What I am going to do, before I even go any further, a big shout out to one of my special subscribers, Andre Marshall. Thank you for keeping me, holding me accountable on that, on that, on the, on the banana strawberry bread that I made. I, I was supposed to put the, 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 uh, the description in the description box for the ingredients. I forgot to do that. My man held me accountable. He put a, he put a comment down in the box. And I do stay in touch with my subscribers. So if you want to get at me on something, please leave your comments, man. They are very, very, very valuable to me. And I will get back with you. So, Andre Marshall, shout out to you, my friend. This is for you. Thank you for your subscription and your comment. I keep it real with my subscribers. All right. So, uh, having said all that, I am going to Andre Marshall the ingredients on this in the description box below i will have every single play-by-play -play ingredient of this beautiful pie that we're gonna make here tonight is going in the box okay so get your taste buds on deck it's going down this what you go what you gonna need all right short verse you're gonna need seven to ten granny smith apples tart apples all right you're also gonna need vanilla extract what I already have in here. Because, you know, once you cut the apples and peel them, they're going to start turning brown, which they're doing right now. Do I really care? Yeah and no. Why? Because we all going to eat it. It eats the same as getting cooked. All right? You're going to need vanilla extract. You're going to need lemon juice. If you want to squeeze out all these lemons, you can. If not, you can buy imitation lemon juice. Works just the same. You're going to need pecans. All right? Do not get sugar-coated, salt-coated, none of that. Just get you some regular pecans. You're going to need flour. Okay, you're also going to need cinnamon, and you're going to need, you can see up under, you see the top cinnamon, under the bottom, I have baking powder. Why? Because I don't have too many of these, or um, um, I'm sorry, baking soda. I don't have too many of these, so don't worry about it. Uh, I just put both of them in, in one bowl, all right? You're going to need sugar, all right? And yes, look at me, folks, look at me, don't worry, don't worry. I know you're bugging out because it's green lady sugar, but please, don't trip. This is under 300 calories, man. All right? So it's going to fit your back rolls, dog. Okay? Worry not. What you are going to get is you're going to get the imitation type bacon, uh, 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 brown sugar. You don't want the regular brown sugar, so we are cutting back a little bit. So just use the, the, the healthier version of brown sugar, okay? That's what we're going with right here. All right? So what you going to do first once you peel your pota your potatoes, listen to me. Once you peel your apples, all right, you're going to put your, your apples in here. You're going to put your uh, lemon juice, and you're going to put your vanilla extract in here. Make sure you get you a good scoop of spatula, all right, and you're going to mix, you're going to dice this up. Mix it up as best you can, all right. Everything's probably not going to get, get coated, but it smells good, and it's getting diced up. Yes, folks. You can't believe it. You sitting there looking like, how's this nigga gonna make a pie for 300 calories? Yes, homie, 300 calories, man. That's it. That's it. And I'm gonna put all that, I'm gonna put the macros and everything at the bottom. All right, so here we go, man. That's all diced up. What you're also gonna buy, because I'm not Betty Crocker, even though I got this kitchen like Betty Crocker, I can't make pie crust from scratch. I ought to learn. My mom know how to do it. P. Not Black, I need you on this one. 
But we bought two roll ready to bake pie crust. Just get them out, spray your bowl, put your pie crust in the bowl, all right? There you have it. Right. So what you gonna do, you got your apples, you got your vanilla in there, you got your lemon juice, you got it all stirred up, okay? Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna mix all four of these ingredients. You got your sugar, your cinnamon, cornstarch, your uh, chopped chop pecans, and your brown sugar. You're gonna mix all that in this bowl, okay? It doesn't matter which goes first. Just get it up in there. That's packed in pretty good, and you gotta have it packed. Why they want it packed, I don't know. I didn't learn that in cooking class yet, so I'll find out. Let me ask my mama. Matter of fact, let me ask Uncle Charlie. Unc! He must be asleep. <laughs> anyway, get your sugar in there. Get your brown, your, your, your cinnamon and your cornstarch. Put that in there. Oh my God! Woo! If you can smell this, man! If you can smell this, this ought to be against the law. Then you want your chopped pecans, all right? What you gonna do? Fold it over, baby. I want everything incorporated. Don't leave nothing unincorporated. What does incorporated mean? Oh, it sound good. How about that? That's what it means. <laughs> it sound good. Nah, really, seriously though, it means get everything covered. Don't leave one dry and one wet. Get everything covered up. All right, man. Oh. I want to slam my face in this bowl and eat this right now. Oh, that smells good. Woo-wee. All right. All right, that's pretty much incorporated, homies. That's incorporated right there. That is incorporated. Yeah, some of y'all that might that might know Chris Jones, man. I watch. That's my favorite guy, man. He saved my life. I'm doing a video on that. I, I watch him first thing in the morning and before I go to bed at night. So please forgive me if I use some of his acronyms. He says homie and homets. That's not my thing, man. I'm not trying to be like anybody but me. So please disregard. Don't give me no bad thumbs for that, man. I love that guy. All right. So much love to CJ, man. Physique's of greatness. If y'all know about them, you should check them out, man. They they are a whole different level of, of fitness, man. All right, so here we go. Once you got that in... Oh. Hold on, let me get a... <sighs> Woo! Once you get your stuff incorporated, man, God bless. I might not finish this video. Then you're going to put all of this inside your pie shell, all right? If it all doesn't fit, don't freak out, man. You might not use, it's better to have more, it's better to have too much than not enough. See, if I only had that much, too much pie crust, I'd be looking stupid right now. All right, so if you don't use all these apples, that's okay, man. All right, these are cheap apples. They're not that expensive, okay? And you definitely wanna make sure you get that all your juice in there. Do not leave any of that juice, that vanilla extract and any of that that lemon juice, do not leave that in this bowl. All right, that is a cardinal sin when it comes to this pie. Don't do that. Spread your apples out. Are y'all seeing this, man? Oh my goodness. Please pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. All right, see, I got a little bit left. All right, it's, I don't wanna overdo it. I got a little bit left. That's pretty good right there, okay, folks? We might take one or two more, okay? Fill in that gap. And let's fill in that gap right there. My homeboy, David. Yo, Dushney, I know you've been waiting, homie. This is for you, brother. All right, oh, wait a minute. I got some more juices in here. That's why you need a, you need a spoon-like spatula, okay? Scoop that out. Get all of that in here. I don't want you leaving none of that business. Don't leave none of that jazz in the bowl. All right, now what you have, you, you saw the little bowl of flour that I had. This is your topping, all right? This is your crumble topping that you're gonna put on the end, all right? And again, I'll give you the uh, ingredients and how much in the description box, so please don't worry about that, all right? Because you're gonna incorporate the butter in this flour mixture right here. So just get, 
nice little even chops it's already room temperature so it's pretty soft all right I got four pats four pats all right just drop that in there and stir this up and it's going to even though some things may not work better than it, it might not work and you might have to add a little more it leaves you room for error all right so you still gonna have listen even if this goes up to 320 calories do you know that most of your apple pies are nine or 850 to 950 calories a slice this is only 300 folk so don't worry if I if I've got too much stuff and I need more sugar or I need not sugar but I need more butter it's okay it's gonna fit a 300 calorie piece of pie come on come on man serious right now yeah I'm serious oh whoa 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 you see what I just did I'm sorry folks Lord forgive me I almost left some food in here we don't leave nothing we want all of it get that out of there all right and we're just gonna break this over the pie all right just break it over okay yeah I told y'all man dieting is not a prison sentence man it's been taboo for so long and people have been scared of what the word diet diet is basically obviously diet is what you what you take in your body every day that is your diet if you eating whoppers and big macs and fat joe's crab shack and you eating whatever it is that you're eating that is your diet all right but people have gotten the word so twisted and messed up and they they lost the whole meaning of what food really means what it really is if you use food for the for the energy source in which it was created to fuel your body which you already know your body is probably not probably your body is the most techno technologically advanced piece of machinery on the face of planet earth that's bro science man you ain't know I was getting down like that, did you? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm expanding your knowledge, your vocabulary, your cooking skills. All of that. Man, that smells so good, man. Whew. All right, so there's your topping, okay? You're going to bake this pie for 55 minutes to an hour. It's okay if you go over. Make sure you keep your eye on it. You do not want burnt crust. You definitely don't want a burnt apple, okay? So this is almost like a French apple pie you know where it's wide open and I said caramel because you're gonna get you remember that sugar-free caramel that we had from them chocolate tacos yeah man everything we use we incorporate it goes together so we're gonna speed this up man stick with me don't go nowhere because you know the taste test is coming you're gonna want to be by your screen don't lick the screen because I know you're gonna want to it's gonna look good it's gonna taste even better it's gonna smell lovely so hang ten man don't go nowhere we're going to throw this in the oven, cook this down, bring it out to you. I'm going to show you the final product, okay? This is Food for Thought. It's the guy, son, Kevin the Ventaris Fit No Bull Just Bow. We in the kitchen. This is Food for Thought, and that is your caramel pecan apple pie. We baking it off. Stick around, because you already know what it is.